Welcome to this edition of Psychic Tips, Tricks, and How-Tos, where it's all about helping you unlock your psychic potential. The topic of today's vlogcast is about losing your psychic abilities. LaShondra from Bellflower, California asks, Help! I think I've lost my psychic skills. How can I get them back? My name is Dar Payment, and I'm a professional psychic medium and channel who is passionate about sharing with you how to accelerate your psychic abilities. So can you really lose your psychic skills? You know, I'm often asked this same question over and over and over again. Can I lose my psychic skills? And I can definitely feel the pain underneath this question. You know, as a young girl, my psychic skills were off the chart. I felt extremely close to my angels and spirit guides, and they were, and happily still are, my best friends teachers, and confidants. But one day when I was 14 years old, I woke up to find that their loving presence was no longer there. So what changed? Well, what happened to me, as well as with many of my clients and students, are one and the same. And before I share with you exactly what that is, first let me answer the question posed at the beginning of this vlogcast. Can you lose your psychic skills? My answer is no. (laughs) You can never lose something that is a natural extension of who you are. So why then does it seem as if, at times, your psychic skills have either diminished or vanished? Well, first, let me share with you the reason that it seems as if your psychic skills have either diminished or appear to have vanished altogether. You know, as with everything in life, there's a natural ebb and flow to things. And the same holds true with your psychic skills. The reason these skills seem to either wane or disappear stems from one or more of the following. Stress, depression, or other health issues, extreme fatigue, or a new belief system. And... I find that the new belief system is generally the culprit, not only in the situation I had as a young girl, but I have also found it to be true with the majority of my students. So what do I mean? Well, a new belief system generally involves the implanted thoughts or beliefs that your psychic skills are either wrong, unethical, or worse yet, evil. Yes, I know. (laughs) You can probably guess where these belief systems generally originate from. And I promise I will not get on my spiritual soapbox (laughs) because I have some very strong opinions regarding this. And so if you didn't guess, these implanted belief systems generally originate from mainstream religious doctrine. So here's what happened to me. As a young girl and impressionable teenager, I was invited by a good friend to a revival at her church, and I was flat out told by the minister that my psychic skills were evil. As a result, I purposely shut them off, trading in my lovely guidance out of fear, as well as to feel as if I belonged. And you know, it wasn't until almost 10 years later, as I was literally on my back due to a debilitating illness, that through serendipitous events, I learned that my psychic skills were actually spiritual gifts, more specifically, the gift of prophecy. Here's what I'm getting at, and I found it to hold true in my experience as well as with that of my students who feel that they've lost their psychic skills. The reason you feel as if you've lost your psychic skills is that you have, for some reason or another, made a conscious decision to shut them off. But here's the good news. You have the ability to turn them right back on again by utilizing the following 
three simple strategies that will help you to rediscover and enhance your psychic skills. The first one is meditation. Okay, okay. (laughs) I know some of you are probably rolling the eyes in the back of your head right now. Meditate? Oh, come on, Dar. Everyone says that. (laughs) But here's the thing. You know, meditation comes in many forms. The most important thing is to get quiet and to give yourself permission to shut the outside world off. This practice is extremely valuable for retraining your ability to see, hear, feel, and know using your own intuitive speak. And more importantly, it also helps to retune you into the loving vibration of your angels and your spirit guides. And there's no set rule of what genre of meditation to engage in. Once again, the most important thing is to just get quiet and spend a minimum of 10 minutes each day simply to tune in. For me, my favorite method of meditation is deep rhythmic breathing. The second thing is to give your psychic senses a workout. Just like exercise strengthens your physical body, your psychic centers also need to be fine-tuned and honed. After all, practice makes perfect, right? And this statement goes a long way when making a commitment to developing your psychic skills as well. So needless to say, the easiest way to work out your psychic senses is to use them, right? So make it fun. You know, I teach my students various psychic games that they can practice either alone or with a friend at various times during the day. These games consist of simple tools such as Zener cards, dice, and planning cards, and other tools you can find around the house. Another fun way to give your psychic senses a workout is daily journaling, in which you just tune into your angels and spirit guides for a bit of wisdom and insight about the upcoming day. Personally, I really love to journal this way, and oftentimes I enjoy pulling either one tarot or oracle cards afterwards for additional wisdom which generally turns out to be a confirmation of what my angels and guides have just shared with me. The third thing to do is to drink lots of water. Remember, your bioenergetic body is like a huge energetic power plant. So you need to keep yourself hydrated for your mind, body, and spirit to function in dynamic unison. Drink as much water as you can throughout the day. I like to fill my huge oversized water mug up in the morning and I make sure that I throw in some frozen lemon wedges and or frozen strawberries. Flavored waters for me this way encourages me to drink up. So finally, in closing, now that you know you've never really lost your psychic skills, it's time to give yourself a pat on the back for your decision to return home to your spiritual essence and to reawaken your psychic channels. Stay balanced and be patient with yourself during this beautiful process of reconnecting and reawakening, as well as with energetic realigning. Sometimes it might take a little bit of time and effort to get your psychic senses back into shape, so make a heartfelt commitment to yourself to stick it out. Enjoy the process, and above all, make it fun. If you enjoyed this vlogcast, I invite you to like and subscribe, and I'll make sure to give you more tools, tips, tricks, and how-tos to help you live the psychic life. This is Dar Payment wishing you blessings, love, and light.